Street closures ahead of the president's visit causing delays for people going back home tonight. KTSM 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela is live with a look at traffic in that area. Natasia, we've been posted up out here between the County Coliseum and Delta Park since earlier this afternoon, seeing and talking to people from both rallies who showed up despite any circumstance out on the road. Now, Bethel's rally did end before President Trump's, giving some people a head start out of the area to avoid getting stuck or caught up in traffic. However, there were still many people in attendance at President Trump's rally, which is where the real congestion caught up with drivers as they tried to leave. I spoke with a couple of people who came out tonight some even from out of town, and they tell me despite some backup, they enjoyed their time out here. Transportation around El Paso was totally cool. It's just once we actually got into the dense of it that it's like, oh, okay, now it's kind of got backed up pretty quick. We come from Anthony, so we came all the way to El Paso to see uh, the beautiful speech that, you know, from our side of what, you know, we like, you know. But traffic here, I'm pretty sure once it ends, it's going to get pretty crazy. And most people parked quite the distance away and had to walk about 20 minutes to get back to their cars. But as of right now, police have been clearing out and reopening the surrounding streets again by the County Coliseum and out here at Delta Park. Live in South Central El Paso, Tatiana Favela, KTSM 9 News.